Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is part of Operating Systems video course. Today's topic is about System Operations. Topics covered in this video are Dual Mode and Multimode Operation, Privileged Instructions, and Timer. Modern operating systems are interrupt driven. If there are no processes to execute, no IO devices to serve, and no users to whom to respond, an operating system will sit idle waiting for something to happen. Events are almost always signaled by an interrupt or a trap. A trap is a software generated interrupt caused by an error, for example division by zero or invalid memory or by a specific request from a user program that an operating system service is to be performed. An interrupt service routine is provided to deal with the interrupt. Since the operating system and users share the hardware and software resources of the computer system, a properly designed operating system must ensure that an incorrect or malicious program cannot cause other programs to execute incorrectly. In order to ensure the proper execution of the operating system, we must be able to distinguish between the execution of operating system code and user defined code. The approach taken by most computer systems is to provide hardware support that allows us to differentiate among various modes of execution. Dual mode and multi-mode operation. There are two different modes of operation, user mode and kernel mode. Kernel mode is also called supervisor mode, system mode or privileged mode. A bit called the mode bit is added to the hardware of the computer to indicate the current mode. With the mode bit, we can distinguish between the task that is executed on behalf of the operating system and one that is executed on behalf of the user. When the computer system is executing on behalf of a user application, the system is in user mode. Whenever a user application requests a service from the operating system via system call, the system must transition from user to kernel mode to fulfill the request. Whenever the operating system gains the control of the computer, it is in the kernel mode. The concept of modes can be extended beyond two modes, in which case the CPU uses more than one bit to set and test the mode. CPUs that support virtualization frequently have a separate mode to indicate when the virtual machine manager VMM and the virtualization management software is in control of the system. In this mode, the VMM has more privileges than user processes, but fewer than the kernel. Privileged instructions. The dual mode of operation provides us with the means of protecting the operating system by using privileged instructions. The hardware allows privileged instructions to be executed only in the kernel mode. If an attempt is made to execute a privileged instruction in user mode, the hardware does not execute the instruction, but rather creates it as illegal or trap to the operating system. An example of privileged instructions are system call, IO control and timer management. Timer. We must ensure that the operating system maintains control over the CPU. We cannot allow a user program to get stuck in an infinite loop or to fail to call system service and, whenever, and never return control to the operating system. Now to accomplish this goal we can use a timer. A timer can be set to interrupt the computer after a specified period. The period may be fixed or a variable. A variable timer is generally implemented by a fixed rate clock and a counter. For example, a program with 7 minute time limit would have its counter initialized to 420. Every second the timer interrupts, the counter is decremented by 1. As long as the counter is positive, control is returned to the user program. When the counter becomes negative, the operating system terminates the program for ex exceeding the assigned time limit. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please do comment. And do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.